hello guys welcome to the market channel in this video i'll be walking you through a step by step on how to start futures trading how to trade futures some tips you need to know the pro and cons and what you need to know to get started immediately um before we continue if you have not subscribed to this channel watching this video right now subscribe now don't forget to like and share and don't forget to put on the notification so as to get more updates like this so let's get started i know that a lot of you have always wanted to venture into futures trading and i've posted some videos in the past that I list to how to trade and how to trade futures on different exchanges so but this video is going to be focusing on buy bits and also general knowledge on how to get started with futures trading so uh, first of all, I wanted to know that when it comes to futures trading, uh, it's very risky and it all depends on your uh, your expertise in technical analysis that is going to help you. Or maybe you are getting signal from a particular group or you are getting signal from an expert or someone that you think you can rely on for your trading uh, position. So, if, but if you are not getting signal from anyone and you are planning on trading on your own, that means you must have a good technical analysis skills. So, but if you don't have that, I guess what you need to do first is to learn how to trade uh, using technical analysis. And uh, I'm going to talk about that in this video, but I won't be able to go deep uh, down. In the, in the aspect of technical analysis in this video because there's no way for me to cover the whole of technical analysis uh, for future trading in this video so uh, if you want to trade features on Bybit first thing you need to do you can see this is the home page first thing you need to do is uh, just click on the we have market we have derivative and spot and assets so i have funded my derivative account with a little amount just so that i can explain for you in this video so i funded with eight dollar i transfer a dollar for my spot balance to my features uh, my derivative there so that i can show you how it goes there okay so before i get started uh when it comes to features like i said uh features is more profitable compared to uh spot Spot is more like a safe trade, like if you don't want to expose yourself to risk, a higher risk in the market, but you want to make money, I guess spot is for you. But if you are willing to take extra risk, you want to expose yourself to like leverage trading, then automatically futures is for you. But like I said, if a particular coin, let me use not coin, currently you can see not coin has been going crazy. And if a particular coin, for example, not coin, increases by 100% on the normal market price the price pump by 100% and let's assume you leverage trade that particular same coin on futures trade maybe use 10x for same not coin and uh, by the time not coin increased by 100% on its normal price on futures trade with 10x you might be having like 1000% automatically that is fucking crazy so just like you're making more money with the help of leverage on futures trade compared to making money on a spot but just that it's more risky the risk is high and the return is high so you can reduce risk when you're good at technical analysis and uh but on spot if you don't know any technical analysis just like buy any coin maybe like just joining buy maybe and the likes it might be profitable you know compared to you trading futures so uh i'm going to explain the interface a bit before i continue uh uh this is a uh, not coin as you can see six hours you know 12 hours so i could see it has been going crazy very very crazy so um okay i will be using not coin in this video so let me just use not coin as an example so if you look at the first part here you see cross if you click on the cross you're going to see isolated and cross cross means that let's assume now i opened not coin with ten dollar position 
and uh, my ten dollar is about to liquidate. If I'm using cross, it's going to cross over my uh, my balance that I that I have in my derivative of my futures account, and use that to keep the position open until I don't have anything left in my futures account. That means if the coin is going my in the opposite direction. But if it is spot, if it, if I use isolated, it means that if I should invest ten dollar on a particular trade, and that particular coin is going otherwise, I will only lose. If I should get liquidated, I will only lose that ten dollar I invested. That's the difference. So isolated is not crossing over to your remaining balance to keep the position open, but cross is crossing over your remaining balance to keep the position open so that's it especially if you don't set stop loss for any of the two so but if you set stop loss by using cross and you set stop loss you are still safe but we're not setting stop loss if you cross over and it use your balance to keep uh opening the position and to keep it running the next one we have all 10x uh, we have leverage and the leverage it changes it varies depending on the coin you are playing with or you want to trade so, but for not coin, the highest leverage here is 25x and the lowest is 1x. And uh, you could sort of see, you could sort of see over time, like the maximum position you can open with these leverages. So, this one is like 25,000 USDT, like it's different. This one is like 50,000, 150,000 USDT, and like, like difference over time. So, now, what I'm now trying to say here is that. If you use lower leverage, it means you are exposed to a low risk and also a low return. If you use a higher leverage, you are, you are exposed to a high risk and a high return. So, but for you, maybe you are starting as a beginner, you want to start futures trading for the first time, the best leverage you can use is 10x. Either use 10x or 5x. Don't be too greedy because you are just starting for the first time. Either you use a 10x or use 5x. Then over time, when you think you are becoming more expert, if you are thinking you are becoming um, a pro now, then you can start increasing to like 15x, 20x, 30x, 50x, 100x, depending on the coin you are trading. I guess Bitcoin has like 100x on uh, on Bybit and the Binance 125x and on Max we have about 200x so it depends so that's that and uh, as i was saying another thing you should notice about leverage is that let's assume you are using 10x leverage you're using 10x 10x means that a five percent increase of oh, sorry 10x means that a 10 percent increase or a 10 percent drop in price of the coin will lead to 100% profit or 100% loss. For example, now let's assume I invested $100 to long not coin. I'm longing it. Long coin. I invested $100. If the price of not coin should increase by 10%, I'm going to get 100% profit on my not coin position on futures. If I'm using 10x. But if the price of not coin should drop by 10%, I'm going to lose 100% of the position if I don't set a stop loss. So let's assume I use 20x now. 20x means that 5% increase or 5% drop in the price of a coin is going to lead to 100% uh, profit or 100% loss. For example, now let's assume that I place not coin with $100. And the not coin price increased by five percent. It means that I'm going to get hundred percent profit if I use twenty x. And if the price of not coin should drop by five percent, it means I'm going to lose hundred percent if I did not set stop loss. Tell us that. So that does that. So and over time it increases as, as it goes further. The percentage, the percentage of Price increase or normal coin it decreases over time. So, but as you go like below, the percentage increases over time. Do you understand? So that does like the ideology and the way it is. So if you want a video on how to calculate 
how to know the stop loss you are going to use or how to know the the profit you want to use like the price how to calculate it depending on the leverage you are using if you want to know how to do that you know uh comment on this video and say that we need a video on how to calculate the stop the stop loss to use or the take profit to use depending on the leverage i'm using how do i know which maybe i'm to look for 10 percent profit 20 percent profit or how to set it you know understand based on the leverage you're using so if you want to know that comment on the video this video below and i'm going to make a video on that but if you don't comment it means everyone is good with it so perfect so let's continue so let's choose 20x i'm a high leverage guy sometimes i use 20 sometimes i use five sorry i'm it's no longer use five actually so but most time i always use like it's between 10 and 20. but if it's bitcoin i can be using like 50x you know and the likes but if it's like all these normal coin odd coins i use between 10x and 20x so let's go on the next thing you will see market if you click on it you will see limit market condition chase limit order scale order t wap and highs bug so uh i'm going to to uh you could see that beta execution fixed price faster execution and the likes but i'll just talk about the main ones you need so so as not to like stress you out so sorry so, so i don't want to stress you out so the first thing you go you can see the limit limit is more like a, okay the price of not coin is currently at 0 0.028 and uh i want to buy it i want i just want to buy it at not like 0 0.023 you could put the price there and then like maybe 100 percent of what i have here and sort of like okay I buy it so if i do that you will see it in the open position you could see it like that but the problem now why i hate limit is that sometimes it executes instantly which is what you are seeing here so let me close it so which is what i hate about about it about limit it executes instant instantly i put it for him to like buy from here and it does bind instantly so like it annoys sometimes when you put price for limit and it doesn't do what you want it to do so that is why most time i don't use limit i do use conditional order or i use market order conditional order works more effective than limit which i'm going to show you in a moment so next one after limit is market market is like you want to buy the coin instantly there i stand like at the current market price i want to enter the market currently all you need to do is just like drag depending on the percentage of the balance you want to use just drag everything click on buy or sell and instantly it's going to like open a position for you and you will see it under the positions then the next one is uh uh the next one is if you click the drop down you click the you see a conditioner if you see conditioner the conditioner like i said is it works more effective than limit and what you need to do is input a price so not the last time i used 0 0.03 so i want it that one price is 0 0.03 help me to buy our long history 0 0.03 even when i'm not in the market at the time I want to bend it down, pay the trade. Maybe I'm using every 200 percent And I click on buy. And if you look at it, you're going to see that what at the order. Can you see? Compared to the other one, I just like buy. Limits also work, but sometimes, like most time, it just when you put the price, it just like fill the order like sometime before you even get to the price, which is always annoying. So and you can see that here condition no order and it's pending so anytime price reaches 0 0.03 is going to like activate even when i'm not there so close cancel so why at the time of like setting this we can also set or take profit you can see it here like tp you can see tp or sl if you click on it 
you can set up take profit price stop loss price and then confirm do you understand so let's assume maybe i want that when price is coming down it will be two you know currently the price is 0 0.023 maybe one price is 0 0.02 or 0 0.0 you just you have to like repeat the same price you have to repeat the same price with last and limit the same price must be there so choose a percentage you know let's say i'm choosing everything it does like me i'm buying it either buying or long you have to like and you could see that it's pending also same thing so that was how like you want to pend your trade use conditional order instead so but if you want to market order like buy instantly so that was it i hope you understand what i'm saying now so that's that so the, then the next one we also have chase limit order so you have to like do like ax and beat like you know just like you're bidding price down like you want to buy the price at this particular point you could see the ax price and you could see the bid price so we have scale order so all those ones so i don't waste my time like those are the two two main ones you know the conditional order and the market order so and then after you you we have done your conditional order your market order you can like sort of pend it down you know for price to pick it up anytime and don't forget you need to like set choose either you're using a cross or isolated you have to like choose your leverage then after that you've done that then you choose maybe you want to buy a market order or you want to use conditional order then pull the quantity if you're using the market order just choose the quantity instead but if you're using a conditional order you have to like pull the price and everything and then drag this to get the quantity you want and then uh just like buy or you want to, you want to sell it so you don't be too do you understand so uh that's for how to like trade features step by step on buy bit I'm going to be ending the video here so as not to make it too long so if you want if you have any question let me know and for you to learn technical analysis you can check the link in the description of this video so i would like to walk you through if you have you don't if you don't have idea about technical analysis you can also join our telegram group also and uh that's all for now god bless you have a wonderful day